Actually, do you, do you want to just introduce yourself and say who you are? Yes, just uh, Barry. Right. 77. Right. Lived in this area all my life. Right, right. And I've seen quite a few changes, you know. Right. Have you? And you said you grew up on, on which road was it? Dormington. Dormington. Which runs off Kettle House. Right, That's right. It. Yeah. And what are your early, earliest sort of recollections of... of um, I can remember we used to call the other half, because you go down Dormington, there's Wandsworth. Right. And then we used to call that New Dormington, because it wasn't built when I, you know, I can beg him, it wasn't built then. That's why we called it the New Dormington. Right, OK, so they're, they're still uh, building the estate when yes, you, oh when yes, you moved in. Oh, yes, yes. And if I remember rightly, we didn't have electricity upstairs. Really? It hadn't been done at that time. Gosh. You know? Yeah. And of course, there was all council houses, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, and... Um, very well built, actually. They're yes. All very well built, and um, it wasn't like today. I mean, housing estates today are sort of looked down on now, aren't they? You know, council. Yeah. But then it wasn't. I mean, everybody took pride in you know. Right. Because women didn't work in those days, or you know, they, they were at home and mm -hmm. all that sort of thing. Of course, it was different when the war came and when they had to help with munitions. You know. Right. And. <clears throat> Where, where, Road. Can I ask out of interest where your parents came from? I mean, did, did they oh, the come Birmingham from locally? People. Birmingham right, people. right. Yes. Yeah. From from the centre from, or from the centre, yes. Uh, mother from Summer Lane. Right. Because they're all I don't know if you know some of it's all gone now because it's the um, the metro offices around where my grandmother used to live, you know. Right. And uh, you'd have the front, and then you'd have entries every now and again. And at the back there was little courtyards with about four or five houses. So if you say, well, what's your address? It was three back of 78. Right, That's really? That's what because you used to go down. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't remember. I used to see my grandparents down there. And, uh, well, they were little hovels, really, very mm. dark, you know. Mm. I mean, the, the kitchen, it was just a curtain over a, a, a sink and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And the toilets were outside. You all had a toilet. And uh, there was what they call the brew house. And right. You had to take it in turns to do the laundry. You know? Right. I remember in the early days when I used to come from, it would be Monday, and Mother would have all the washing, because she used to have lines in the house, you know, especially right. in the winter. And I used to hate that. <laughs> you know, oh, terrible it was. But, um, um, what's, what area uh, would that have been? Aston, Ladywood? Um, Newtown, more Newtown. Newtown. Newtown, Aston. Right. My dad came from more or less uh, Aston, Lodge Road and that sort of thing. That's where mum and dad first got their first house, you know. But this area, I mean, King's Road, you know, from the circle going up to what we used to call the Trees Pub. It's, it's Buffet Island now, you with me? Well, to the left of that, it hadn't been built. All they'd got just before the war was they just put all the roads in. And uh, it was all agriculture. And Shady Lane was a lane. Really? Definitely a lane. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And as you get to the top, there's a, I think it's David Lloyd. Yes, yes, so the gym. That's it. And on the other side used to be um, Sandcliffs.